Using the View menu, we can change which windows are displayed. When a window is currently in view, a check mark appears to the left within the View menu. We can take it out of view by clicking on it, and the check mark goes away. The most commonly used is the Structure window, and you can see here, by double-clicking on any of these objects, you can open each of them and then close them. You can also allow collapsing in this menu, which is especially useful for longer experiments because you can easily navigate from one part to the other. The Attributes window lists all of the attributes in the current experiment. This makes it easy to reference things such as color. So if we wanted to make the color of the stem word text the same as uh, select from the text color attribute, we can do that right here, and we can confirm that it is the correct name. The browser window lists all of the objects, including the referenced and unreferenced objects that are in the current experiment. The output window will come at the bottom, and this displays details of the status of performed operations. And if an error occurs while generating the script or running the experiment, this window will provide details about that error. In the properties view, we can see the name, size, and uh, several other characteristics of the currently selected object. So right now we can see that the name of this object is stimulus. If we wanted to change it, we could change it, for example, to stimulus1, and that would be the name that would reference that object then. The script menu shows all of the script in the experiment, including that which eprime generates and the user script that you may have entered. And the toolbox, finally, we're going to close a couple of these other windows to see it better. Um, enables us to easily drag things into the experiment. If we wanted to drag a text display in, we would just click it and drag it onto the procedure where we wanted it, and then rename and go from there. The other items on the view menu just provide the option to have a full screen, or um, you can take away the status bar at the bottom there, and you can also take away the toolbar up here if you need more room to work. And those are the basics of the view menu.